Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be looking at um, programming sound to um, to play at certain events. So we're going to start looking at the background music. So um, what we want is the background music to start playing when the game level one comes on. So I don't want any music playing on my intro screen. I want the music to start playing when um, level one is started. So in order to do that, I need to look at the OBJ game. Okay, so this is the OBJ game which we've been looking at. And um, currently, um, when I click enter from the uh, welcome room, it moves to level one. So I need a way of starting that sound when um, we move to level one. So on the start of the room, I want the music to start playing. So I'm going to do the following. After I play my, um, after I click my enter button on um, my welcome screen, I want the sound to start playing. So, in my switch room statement, in my step event, I have um, uh, a room go to level one. So when that room starts, I want to um, start playing the background music. So I'm going to put an extra line in here, and the sound we use to start audio is um, audio underscore play underscore sound now there are a number of parameters here it's asking me for what the sound is called okay so I'm looking at the bottom now here so you can see that it's asking me for a number of things the sound ID is the name of the track so the sound of my track is mus underscore music so I'm just going to type that in there mus underscore music comma it's asking me for a priority. Now, the priority, I don't want you to be concerned with. Uh, we're not going to do work with priorities. You can set all the priorities of all your sounds to one. That's absolutely fine. Comma. And now it's asking, is the track going to loop? So if you put false in there, that means it will play the track once. So the track lasts about, you want my track lasts about four seconds. So I don't want that. So I want to loop it. So in order to loop it, I need to type in true. Now that track will play regardless of what screen I'm on until it's stopped so once it starts playing you have to physically stop it with a command okay and we're gonna we're gonna do that in a second so um, we're gonna set that to true I'm gonna close the bracket and I'm gonna finish with a semicolon all those errors should now disappear let's try it let's see if it works so let's run the game Okay, so there's no sound at the start. That's exactly what I want. So press enter to start the game. And then my sound plays. Okay. But like I say, when I move to the, um, I'll show you what I mean. If I move to the, uh, to the lose screen by losing all my lives. One, two, three. The sound is still playing. Now there, I want to stop that sound and play my, my lose uh, music. Okay, so. Let's have a look how we do that. So um, when I go to my game over screen, I want to do a few things. I want to um, firstly stop playing that track, and then I also want to um, to play my my lose music, which is on my lose sound, which is the lose um, lose game sound there. Okay, so I can copy and paste this three times. Okay, so. Um, if uh, global lives is less than one on uh, less than zero on level one, I'm going to go to room over, room game over. I'm going to do also do the following. I'm going to stop audio underscore stop underscore send. Okay, I'm going to open a bracket and I'm going to tell it what audio I want to stop. Well, that's the music. So it's M U S underscore music okay and I want to play my other sound my, my lose uh, game sound if I want to uh, go audio underscore play underscore sound I'm going to open the bracket I want to play this sound here which is the sound lose game that one there so that is SND underscore 
l o s e underscore game comma i'm going to set remember the priority is going to be set as one comma i don't want it to loop so i'm going to type in false okay so before we go any further let's test that and see if it works so uh, this is on level one okay so let's try it okay one life gone two lives gone and there the music has stopped and the those game sound plays so that's perfect, it's exactly what I want. So rather than typing this in over again, I'm just gonna copy it. And I'm gonna paste it into my level two code here. And I'm gonna paste it into my level three code here. Okay, so um, there's my, my um, lose game. So what if my win game then? Well, it's the same code only I just play in a different sound. So I'm gonna paste this into here again. And this time, rather than send lose game, I'm gonna play my send win game. So I'm just gonna change that lose in there to win, okay? And that's how we get the sound to play. So what we're gonna do next is look at how we um, get the sound effects to play when we shoot the monsters and collect the gems. So we're going to do uh, some work on some other objects now just to tidy up this sound. So I'm gonna close this down and finish with the uh, with the OBG game. So the first thing we're gonna look at is uh, the sound of the shoot. So when I uh, shoot my bullet, I want my, um, my bullet to make a sound. So I'm gonna go onto my OBG bullet and I want to change the way that it's created. Okay, so in my creation of my bullet, I also want to um, Audio play sound and go sound and I'm going to open a bracket and this time it's going to be SND let's see which one it is SND shoot so I'm looking here okay so I'm going to play SND underscore shoot comma um, is it going to have a priority is the priority of one comma leave a space there to make it easy to read comma false because I don't want it to loop okay I only want it to play once so I'm going to leave an exclamation mark that's a exclamation mark there so I'm going to a semicolon sorry I'm going to uh, highlight that I'm going to copy it because I'm going to use this line um, in a number of different places okay so let's have a look in my collision event with my monster so when my bullet collides with the monster I'm going to use the same uh, um, die score for the bullet as I am for uh, sorry when the bullet collides with the monster as when the monster collides with the player okay you might want separate terms and that's absolutely fine so I'm just gonna uh, with the other I'm gonna destroy the instance so that's destroying the monster and then I'm going to paste that sound in and it's SND and I think it was um, SND must be lose life Okay, so I'm gonna put S N D lose underscore life. Okay, so that plays uh, when I shoot the monster. So um, let's try those before I go any further to make sure they're working. Okay, so my shoot is working. So is my sound when the monster's killed. So the only sound left now is uh, when the monster collides with the player. And that's gonna be exactly the same sound as this. So I'm gonna copy this, and I'm gonna paste this into my player object. So if I go into my OBG player, and I've got a collision event here where um, the monster collides with the player. And all I want to do is put in there the code for the sound for the collision event when the monster hits the player. So I'm gonna paste that in, and I should now have a working game, so let's give it a try. So if I click the run button. Okay, so um, 
and to start the game. There we go, we're off. So we've got sounds. Okay. We've got collecting objects. Well, we haven't done um, collecting the collectibles yet, so uh, I'll do that now as well. So, collecting the gems. We have another sound effect in the gems. So the, so the um, collision event with the monster works. So let's have a look then at the um, sound for collecting the gems. So we've got a red gem object. I'm going to copy this because I'm going to need it anyway. I'm going to go into my red gem object. Okay. I want to destroy the instance and I want to paste that in and I want to use the sound gem. SND underscore gem. Okay. Again, we only want to play it once. I'm going to copy that audio file again because I'm going to need that for the blue gem. So inside there, we're going to paste that in. Now I should have a working game complete. So let's try once again. Okay. So let's enter to start the game. So let's go and collide with um, a white monster to test that. That works, I have the sound. If it works when I collide with the blue monster, it'll work with the red, because remember they're parent objects. So that should work as well. That also works. So now we're just going to test the uh, collecting the gems. So the blue gem should make a sound when I collect that. Yes, it does. And red gem. Perfect. Okay, so um, there we have a working game. So um, all that's left to do now is to export the game so as you can play the game outside of the Game Maker environment. So that's what we're going to be covering in the final tutorial, tutorial of this series. Um, so I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.